Hello, welcome to Business Immo Television. I'm Alan Saunderson, and today we have with us Philippe Letrang, who is the founder and head of Views Plus S, and he is also an advisor to our sister company, iRead. Philippe, when we look at the listed companies across Europe, there's so many that are discounted to net asset value, and it's really a bit of a mystery. Either the values are wrong, uh, or what's happening there? What, how do you see the situation? I think a couple of explanations to that. First, and if you're backward looking, you're looking at the valuation evidences that took place a few months, a few quarters ago, and capital markets are about uh, tomorrow. And I think it tells you that uh, market participants see risks, risk in valuation, but not only um, it's not only a signal to the direct market uh, evolution, it's also a sign of the risks that we have in current market, risk on interest rates, risk on currencies, uh, risk on uh, economic growth, and you've seen a lot of this risk uh, taking place in the, last, in the last few quarter. So I would tell that, uh, and if you don't tell the, the old story, at the same time you do have uh, attractive dividend yields, and you do have quality companies. Some of these risks, it's fair to say, are a lot in the retail space. A but lot I guess, in the shopping I, I center. guess you could even say that this risk is, is also present in the direct market. But in the direct market, there's still plenty of demand and prices seem to be pretty high. Uh, so the question is maybe there is not enough demand for listed property companies today. I think one um, issue you, you, you may have is that it's not easy to take private a public company. It's not easy because most of the companies in Europe are not controlled. It's not easy because uh, there's many uh, uh, countries where you have to pay a significant premium to the share price or a little discount to the NAV. So there is not immediate pricing into the, the public market. It just reflects what the minority shareholders uh, are wishing to do. And today, I think most of investors are risk off. So we've seen some M&A activity in the listed sector. Do you expect uh, more to come or not really? At the moment, we're sort of in a bit of a hiatus. In the report that uh, I read has just published, uh, we show that in uh, 2018, there was a lot of cross-border uh, deals. There were uh, uh, Vonovia involved in Sweden, there was uh, Colonial increasing its stake in SFL, and there was also Covivio uh, taking the full control of uh, Benny Stabili. So that was a trend, uh, but that was not a trend for public to private. I said, why? First of all, because uh, as I said, in, in several countries, it's difficult to say. But it's fair to say that uh, Blackstone, when they raise money, have put uh, buying public company in their strategy, and they've done some in the Nordic market, and maybe there, there will be more to come. Hispania and Spain as well. Yes, it's fair to say that um, we've seen a few of them, but also if you look backwards uh, in the last few years, uh, the majority of uh, m and in the sectors are uh, big companies trading at uh, better relative valuation, buying in shares, smaller okay. company, and that should continue. Okay, thank you. That was Philippe Letrang for Business Immo Europe TV.